most exciting time to be in India right now is really what's happening in the consumer space. And it's driven by certain factors which are extremely macro, but also very secular and we see that this trend will continue for decades and this is not something which is happening. Uh, funnily, for a 1.2 plus uh, billion population, we have very few brands in the country. And that is, you know, the strangest uh, paradox that you can think of. Uh, you take any category, you take products lying in front of you, take products you consume. There are hardly any brands you can think of after the first two or three or four names. And that was driven by a lot of complexity in terms of how brands were built in India. Partly because the distribution was extremely complex. You know, you go mom and pop stores, you know, 100,000 stores, 500,000 stores. So the people like Lever, ITC, they really rule the roost. And then how do you engage the consumer it became equally you know, complex because you are depending on mass media television, you know, press advertising and all, which is expensive. So it takes time and it takes a lot of money to build brands in India. What has happened in the last, let's say a decade, but really accelerated in the last five, six years is two factors. One is the consumer is changing dramatically. You know, so the whole millennials, as we call them, I mean, Rajiv already alluded to our age, but thankfully, 65% of the country is uh, you know below uh, 25 years of age. They are aware, they are socially connected, they understand what is happening in the world, and they are, in some sense, the word we use sometimes is entitled. A very large portion of this consumer is grown in a very stable and high growth economic time. So they are looking for new products, new ideas, and new uh, concepts which don't exist. And just because you represent a brand from Unilever or you represent a brand from Nestle does not make it my preferred choice. On the other side, we have this entire new world of the digital economy which has opened up, which allows you to engage the consumer, social media, influencers, and so on, and also the distribution channels which what we typically like to call them is our you know, live laboratories. I and mean, you can actually experiment with them, you can do all kinds of testing, prototyping, A-B testing. I mean, these are all you know jargon terms, but pretty straightforward. You can try different things without spending billions of dollars. So new brands are getting born, new concepts are coming into the market, and we are seeing faster growth and lesser capital deployed.